And a few of the big yabies. And a lot of them just ducked under the water as soon as I spoke. But uh, there's a couple of the, the average sort of size ones that I've put in here at the moment. Um, there's two or three in here where they're probably 100 mil from the tip of the nipper to the first joint. That one there is probably about 75 mil. That one there is probably about 80. Um, the largest I've got I think is about 29 and a half centimetres. Um, pretty sure that one there is just over 20. Uh, sorry, 220 mil. That big fella there. I know him because he's one of the ones that always comes up for a feed whenever it's feed time and I, I'll sit there and I'll drop feed down to him and he sort of clings onto the, the shade cloth, leans backwards and he holds his little mouth pieces open and I drop the sinking feed straight into his mouth. Like he's just underneath the water, and then he'll sit there and he'll munch away on it. And when he's finished, he'll start flapping his little mouth bits around, and I'll drop another bit in for him. So, yeah, he actually is uh, pretty friendly to be honest. There's quite a few of them in here that uh, are starting to get a bit that way now. There's probably a couple of hundred yabbies in here. I'll give you still a bit of a problem, but I'm still waiting for the um, the barley straw to arrive. Um, yeah, I've got a few air stones and plants and uh, a few barramundi, a few Murray cod, heaps of little mosquito fish, plus all of the all of the eddies. So, yeah, like I said, it's probably about average, really. You know, probably tip of the head, tip of the tail, smallest I've probably got is about 120 mil, but there's probably only about, I'd say there's probably less than a dozen out of a few hundred, a few, at least a few hundred, that um, I've, you know, below probably, say at least 170. There's a smallish one, um, that sort of size there is probably about 140, 150 head to tail. Other nice size ones sitting there in the bubbles and walking around. These are just for them to climb on. So um, they just climb around them and they come up and feed against them because of the, the food gets trapped on it. And usually at night they'll actually come out and you know just sit there and fall asleep. They quite often do that. A good size one right up the other end so to get a, a good look I might see if I can yeah. Yeah, you're talking nippers that are easy Oh, let's say 30, 
the 33 mil sort side. We got 13 thick. It's a decent nipples. I'm quite happy with these. Not bad at all. And that's just an area for fish to you know, keep nice and safe. Other than that, got some lettuce today as well for in here. So I'll put them in. Beans, sweet peas, garden peas, raspberries on the other side. I'm going to put some lettuce in here tonight, probably set up the other two bays. I really wanted to get the truck out, the ute where that is. Well, I want that up around there. Then I want the ute there, and then I can finish putting the fence line across to right here. So it's going to go from there to here. Um, but not in a straight line, it's going to sort of go out to probably out around here somewhere and then come back to here. Um, that way I can have some more garden space in here for aquaponics gardens. Because realistically this setup's big enough for it so you know should have a lot more bays to be honest. Um, I'm going to put in another one of these. Um, all I've got to do is put it together and drill all the holes, put everything inside. So I'll hook that up as well over the next few days probably and put more lettuce into there. Um, and just get more plants. I keep on breeding the the duckweed in the other ponds and as they fill up with it I you know, take probably half out put heaps into here so this is slowly getting more and more you know it's only a handful or two at a time but it all adds up it is a pretty big area in here so it, it takes a bit before you start to sort of notice the difference but, um, it does have a good radial flow at the moment so all of the, the muck is going to this to the uh, the five pickup points that I've got around the bottom uh, which all get sucked into this one I've only got these in here at the moment basically once it's all healthy it should be right but uh, that settling tank will just be exactly that but at the moment I've got these in here just simply to filter out the the algae a bit more because yeah that that barley store extract stuff that I put in here nah nah that's just bad stuff made it three times worse within three days and then I thought I'd be smart and thought oh maybe it was just because there was a bit of extra sun so I thought alright yeah I'll give it another dose so on the fourth day after the first one I gave it another dose and yeah it's it's not good at all so uh, i don't know whether it's just a bad batch or what but i'm going for the real stuff getting the bale of that so once that arrives she'll be right Alrighty, guys um i might end up doing a bit later of the little barramundi um, out for a bit of a swing around the ones that are in here I might uh, grab the torch later on see if the little fellas are out and about for a swim I can't quite see down in there at the moment It's a rig, not one of them. You can usually tell by the white stripe and the white belly. But I can't see one. 
so might try it later tonight alrighty guys see you later have a good night